Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm really excited to share this Henri Rousseau Tiger Lesson with you today. All you need to get started is any type of paper, a pencil, a glue stick, something to color with, and some leaves from outside. I went outside this morning and picked some leaves that were already about ready to fall off of my plants. So if you have yellow leaves, that's fine or ask your family which leaves would be okay for you to use. You don't need too many, I just brought a couple different types, um, but make sure you ask permission before you go on your leaf foraging adventure. To get started, we are gonna start with a pencil. Our, with our pencil, we are going to draw a large circle in the middle of our paper. It's okay if it's not a perfect circle because we're gonna color it in, right? We're freehanding it here. You can always erase, and we're going to color it in, so it's okay. The next step after our circle is we are going to add our small tiger ears, one on each side, about a half circle, like that. Inside each ear, we are going to add another smaller half circle. Now, we are going to go down and add our tiger nose. So we're going to do a straight line and then a curved half circle underneath that straight line. To make the snout of our tiger, we are going to make a straight diagonal lines that go from the top of the head to the corner of the nose. So like that. And then another one that is the opposite on the other side. You want them to be going towards each other to the top of the head, just like that. After that, we are going to draw a line that makes the bottom jaw of our tiger. So we're going to draw a line to the side and another line to this side of the bottom of our tiger face. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to add some of our tiger stripes. So our tiger stripes are not stripes all the way across the face. They're going to come like little V shapes onto our tiger's face. And you can add as many as you want. This is your tiger. I want you to make it as creative as you can. Your design. Our next step is we're gonna add our tiger's eyes, one on each side of its tiger snout. We're going to be making an oval shape, so a long half circle and then a long half circle for the bottom. Come across to the other side, a long half circle and then a long half circle. For our tiger eyeballs, let's do some long skinny ones the opposite direction, like that. If you want to be really fancy, you can even add a little highlight that we will leave white when we color it in. That will be the light shining off of our tiger's eyes. One of our last steps now is we need to add a tiger mouth. So for our tiger mouth, we are going to make a line down like this and a line down like this coming from the very bottom of the nose. Those are our little tiger lips. And our last step is we're gonna add whiskers onto our tiger. So you can have your whiskers come from your nose or you can have your whiskers come from the mouth part of where the tiger is, like its cheeks. So I think that's where I'm gonna have mine come from. Our last step for our tiger is to draw a skinny tiger body, okay? This tiger lives in the wild, so we're gonna go straight down like this. This is just the tiger's neck peeking up, just like that. Now we're gonna add some more tiger stripes onto our tiger body the same way, coming around the side, some V shapes, our tiger stripes. Okay, our next step, just like always, is to color. Tigers are generally orange and black. I'm going to use crayons today. I think I'm gonna find all of my orange colors. 
and my black. And maybe I want my tiger to have green eyes. That's kind of fun. So I think those are the only colors I'm going to need for this right now. I'm going to start with my green eyes. I'm going to color around this circle so we can keep that highlight. Like that. And then I'm going to use the different color oranges to color in the different parts of my tiger face. If you only have one color orange, you could also use yellow instead. Up to you. Remember, we're working on our craftsmanship here. Okay, now that we are done with our coloring, it is time to go back through and trace over some of the lines that we drew with our pencil to make sure we can really see everything. So we're going to come back through and outline some of the lines so we can see all of our details. Got to make sure we can see our cute mouth and our whiskers. Just like that. So now you have a finished colored awesome tiger. We are going to add our leaves in what is called collage around the outside of our tiger. First, let's get some of these crayon crumbs off. Now we need our glue stick and we need our leaves. I have some long kind of grass leaves. I think I'm going to put down first and then I'm going to put the smaller leaves in front. So. We're gonna glue a leaf just like we would glue it on paper. If there's a flat side, I would recommend putting the glue on the flat side. And it's okay if it goes off the edge of your paper. So I'm just gonna line mine up so it looks like my tiger is looking through the grass. You don't need a whole bunch of glue, and if you have white glue, that is okay too. It's any glue you have will work. I kind of want my leaves to overlap my tiger a little bit. Okay, now I think I'm ready for some of these smaller leaves. Same thing, put some glue on your leaf, stick it onto your paper. Your leaves can overlap, they can touch each other, that's okay. You want it to look like your tiger is in oh, a jungle.
Okay, my friends, I really like how my tiger collage came out. If you wanted, you could color your background a sky color, up to you. I really like that I have texture in my leaves. I like that my tiger is poking through the grass. And I hope you have fun. I can't wait to see how yours turn out.